Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 44th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Today we're going to be going over another algorithm, the QCopy. And if you go to the documentation, you'll see they've got this nice little example here that copies from a Q string list to a Q vector. Um, if you don't know what a Q vector is, it's like a better version of an array. So we're going to actually go ahead and just make that little application here. And let's include Q string list and include Q vector. So we'll make our list here and let's populate it. And there we go. Now we need to initialize our vector. So we'll say Q vector and we're going to populate this with strings. Let's call it vect, and we need to give it an upper boundary of 3. Now, we can actually copy into there. We do that by calling qcopy, and we need to give it a start position, an end position, and another start position. This, the first argument is where you're starting from. So we'll say list.begin. The second argument is where you want to end. So we'll say list.end. And the final argument is the output starting position. Where do you want to start? Well, we're copying this to the Q vector. So let's say vect.begin. Sorry about that. My keyboard's still set up for video games. And let's just go for each, say, Q string. And we want to print out vect. Let's compile and run this, and let's see how this works. So the contents of our vector are now a, b, and c, the same contents we had of our q string list. Now, if you've been paying attention, you notice that we have a start position, an end position, and a start position here. So let's just say um, we want to copy out begin plus one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say this is the beginning, but we want to do plus one. So we're going to actually start here. Now when you compile and run this, we have B, C, and a blank item in our vector. That's how that works. You could also do the same by saying you want to start copying at vect.begin plus one. In other words, the second item. So let's just go run this and see how that works. So now, sure enough, we have a blank item and then BC. Very simple, yet very, very powerful algorithm, QCopy. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and stay tuned. We're going to go over a few more algorithms, and then we're going to jump right back into GUI programming.